Hi there, it's Nicole here today from Mama Elephant with a little Santa agenda card where all these little Santas are featured in the awesome grid window die from Mama Elephant. So super fun. These little agenda stamp sets can be used in so many ways. I wanted to feature lots of the Santas. I'm gonna start by inking up a background with black soot and candied apple distress oxide inks. And I'm gonna, I started with the regular distress ink on smooth white cardstock and see those horrible ink blending lines. I'm gonna transition into the distress oxide. It is a lot more forgiving on regular smooth white cardstock. If you're not using a specialty cardstock, which I did not for my card today, I think the Distress Oxide is so much more forgiving. So about this point, I realized it was kind of silly that I didn't grab those in the first place. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink up about one third of the background, which it's A2 sized, four and a quarter by five and a half inches. I'm gonna ink up that one third of that with the candied apple, which it's really bright. And you might think that does not look good at all. And at this point, it really does not. I wanted the background to mostly be dark black with a hint of red. And to achieve this, and here you can really see how great that Distress Oxide is covering this. I'm gonna go over most of the red with black but you're still gonna see a hint of it. So it's just a little teeny tiny bit of red or just that little glow of red, I guess I wanna call it. You're not gonna see a ton of it, but I wanna work and work. Here I'm covering up part of that red with the black soot, going back over it with the candied apple until I get that transition nice and seamless and it deepens and darkens it up quite a bit. Once I have that, I'm gonna spritz this with water from a Distress Sprayer, and I love how immediately all these little light areas start popping up. Here is my grid window die, die cut from some smooth white cardstock, and then I have already laid out my Santas on my Misty, and I'm going to stamp them all at once. And I'm using quite an assortment of Santas here, plus the little bag and the little gift, or little uh, packages there, but so fun. Looks like there's probably 11 Santas I'm using. Is that right, six, seven, eight? Yes, 11. And I'm gonna be inserting all these little guys into the little window openings of the grid window. The grid window makes it so easy to frame up little pieces in a card design. You could either do a huge design with that frame or you can do my favorite thing and that's to put little tiny images into each one and it really just kind of helps tie the whole card together. I am gonna color in my images with Copic markers. They are teeny tiny. I'm gonna use um, pretty much just a couple of shades per color family. And I really tried to keep it to coloring in my, um, like all their faces at once, then anything that's red at once. I didn't make it with everything, but I tried. Um, a lot of times I get distracted by um, a certain part of the image and think, I need to go ahead and go on and color that whole thing. So I started coloring in the first Santa and then I thought, well, they need little pink cheeks. So I went back and did that. Then I'll add my additional shades to his Santa outfit and the Santa bag he's holding. And as far as shading goes, I do try to do all of that at once, mostly because otherwise I, when you're coloring a lot of images like this, it can be really hard to remember to go back and do that. Um, you might get all the way to the end and realize that one of them looks a little funny. So this one I did color all the way. Just adding a, some different colors for the packages hanging out of his Santa bag. Some very, very light warm grays for anything that's white. And then I went through and colored all of the rest of the red, anything else that's white, shaded it with gray, 
and I'll finish up anything in the card that is not red and white. So for example, the teddy bears the, and the, or the teddy bear and the bunny that the one Santa is holding, the gift packages, the string of Christmas lights, anything like that, the package that one of them is holding. Really quick coloring. They're so teeny tiny, but so much fun. I absolutely love them. I love that little Santa holding the teddy bear and the bunny. I accidentally colored in his Santa glove with brown. I thought it was part of the bear and I noticed that. So I took the colorless blender and kind of pushed that ink out of his glove so that it's still white. Just a little trick if you get lost like I did. This little banner here is going to be perfect for one of the greetings from the Sentiments from Yeti stamp set. I've die cut the banner from black cardstock using a powder tool over it and then I kind of curved the greeting to fit the banner. Stamp that with Versamark ink, sprinkle on some white embossing powder, and then heat set that. And this banner is going to be the greeting for the card, kind of go right in the center of the panel. And I think that you just got to believe sentiment is so perfect for the Santas. Kind of great for that whole magic of Christmas type of feel of this card. I put some foam adhesive squares all over the back of this panel. And then I'm going to pop it over my distress inked background with the red at top going into the black. This is going to give it just a tiny bit of dimension. I use the scrapbook adhesives thin foam squares. You can kind of see them down there in the bottom left corner of the screen. I love these. They are not terribly dimensional. They're still going to provide some nice dimension, but they are not going to add a lot of bulk to your card. They are my favorite foam adhesive squares. I use them a lot. I'm putting them on the back of these little Santas as well so that they are popped up and not lying flat against the distress inked background. That little bit of dimension really helps a lot. Now one of the Santas I thought it would be fun to have him kind of poking in and hanging down from the top of the card as opposed to standing like normal. And then that greeting fits perfectly right there along the grid window. And I'm going to continue to fill in each of the little squares. I use the paper that I stamped the images on. I try to lay them out in the misty in the order that I planned it. So before I stamped these, I had laid them out in the grid window die, kind of planning which image was going to go where. Then I take them and put them in that like in that same order in my misty. So so I'm not having to guess. It probably doesn't matter, but for me, I usually lay them out in a certain way because I like how it looks. And so I just lay them out that way, stamp them, color them, and then after they're die cut, they get all mixed up again if you're not real careful with that. But your paper you die cut them from will clearly show which one came from where. So I use it kind of as a guide to know where to put each of the little images. I've done this on any of the little agenda cards I've done where I've used this grid window especially since I'm using so many of the images. I did one with the little cat and the little dog agenda, um, the little girl and little boy agenda, all of that. I try to just kind of keep them in order on my paper because it, it's a great reference for when I get to this point and I'm like, oh, which one did I want to go here? So if you're kind of like me and that matters to you, that is a way you can do it if you do not care at all and it's completely random, that works too. I will add the last few here. And this panel is A2 sized. This grid window is probably one of my most favorite from recent releases from Mama Elephant just because it's so versatile and there's so many ways to use it. And it is an A2 sized panel, meaning it is going to completely fit a A2 card front, which is what I use probably 99% of the time. 
and you could use it I use it portrait style like I'm doing here a lot but it would also work landscape style depending on what kind of card you're creating I'd like to tip it at some point and do a landscape style design the only downside to these scrapbook adhesive foam squares is that you have to peel off all the little backing paper but and I find them all over the house Last one here. Just love all of these little critters. I think it would be fun to mix and match the little Santa and the little reindeer agenda, especially to do maybe Santa and all of his reindeer in these little window openings. I think that would be really cute. Um, so many fun ways to do this. Any Santas that have their eyes open, I'm going to take a black glaze pen and add detail to their eyes one of the things I always like to do to add finishing touches the little bear and bunny as well it makes their eyes really pop especially after you've colored them on the inside of my card now I'm gonna take some additional greetings from the sentiments from Yeti stamp set which is the greeting stamp set I used for the front of the card but I really wanted to finish the inside of the card with a little bit of an additional stamped greeting you don't have to go overboard or anything like that I am just simply going to stamp the word Christmas with some black ink go ahead and clean that up I didn't feel like I could get the two stamps as close as I wanted them to press them together all at once and because of that I went ahead and stamped the word Mary separately and then I could kind of get them nice and close together that way so the front of the card you've just got to believe and on the inside Merry Christmas I'll go ahead and fold my card put my grid window right on top of this using a nice strong adhesive and that is going to finish up this little Santa agenda card featuring the brand new Little Santa Agenda Stamps and Dies from Mama Elephant. Thanks for joining me today for this Christmas card featuring Mama Elephant Stamps and Dies. The supplies I used to create this card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Mama Elephant Stamps and Dies from the September 2017 release that you might be interested in. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.